What's up, YouTube? So what I've got here is a jig I designed for laser engravers, specifically the X1 honeycomb. Uh, all honeycomb may be similar. I'm not sure about that. But anyways, it's got two little pegs right here. Uh, and this is it. I'm going to show you how to set it up and how to use it and actually how to uh, order one if you have a 3D printer. I'm going to put the file on Etsy for pretty cheap uh, if you want one. Or if you want to just design your own, this may help you out uh, setting one up. All right, so what I try to do at first is put my honeycomb in there and give it a shove up against the back so I know it's somewhat square. Then you'll go ahead and you'll place this in here using the little peg so it kind of, you don't have to use any clamps or anything. It stays down. You'll take a pencil uh, that you want to engrave. Just slide it in here. This is how you're gonna get your height at first. Go ahead and pull your laser over to the dead center of the pencil, doesn't matter where. And we'll come back over here Hit your auto measure. You should see it come down. It's gonna go back. What we're gonna do next is align the laser up to where the metal portion stops. So the metal portion stops about right there. That's where I'd like my engraving to start. Maybe a little further over, it doesn't really matter, but uh, personal preference, I guess. And then you want to move the laser up to dead center of the notch. Like I said, I colored it black so you can see it a little bit easier. So now I know when I put my line for my marking right here, I'm gonna draw it to here. So let's do that now. So let's come here, mark, uh, mark processing area, do a line. Start marking. So I know my first point is where I want it. So I'm just gonna hit it. So now I wanna bring this straight over without pushing it forward or backwards. All the way pretty much to the end right there. And you can go further, whatever you need, but. All right, so that gives me a line. You can hit done. Okay, now you wanna come up here and this will be included. Uh, we'll click the image, we'll import the pencil guide, bring that in. We'll rotate at 90. And when I zoom in, let's see here. You can see there's a line at the first uh, hole and that is in line with uh, what you saw on the jig. So you wanna bring this edge up right to where the crosshairs are even and everything's nice and even. So this is the center line of that first hole. Everything else should be evenly spaced around it. So now that you have that, you can turn the output of that off. Click out here. Now you just wanted to grab some text, whatever you want it to say. And if you will uncheck this, Make your text height of about 2.9 millimeters. Um, undo that, sorry I messed that up. Let's see, click here. Leave that like that, 2.9. There you go. And you can make it say whatever you want. I'm just gonna do an example here. You, you are awesome. Turn it on to engrave. I just click the basswood for plywood. I use this one right here. I have the S1 40 watt. This works for me. Uh, we'll click over here. So now you know this dot right here, this area right here is where the metal eraser holder is. So anything over here we can write on. And again, 2.9 should be about correct. You can come down, make sure you're good right here on your height. Uh, your, the center line lines up right here. We'll go with that. Click off. The actual DXF is ignored. The only thing we have on is engraved. Now, if you wanted to add more pencils, you would just do the same thing and add them along here, 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 basically every little notch. You could do up to 10, uh, but now we'll go over to the printer or to the engraver and we'll show you how it works. So now that we're ready for that, we'll just hit go to process. 
That'll do its thing and get ready. Uh, we'll come back over here to the engraver. We can grab our pencil and move it to this first slot. Again, if you had more than one, um, you could just load this up with all 10. I'm gonna, it's gonna be engraved on this flat spot on the top. I'm gonna go ahead and close the lid. Come back over here. My mouse go, here it is, hit start. 20 seconds. All done. Let's see if I can get the focus. Let's see here. There you go. Right there. Easy as that. So real quick, I did one little quick update. I actually added center lines for every pencil slot, as well as this line right here it tells you where the eraser stops, so you know to put your text after that. I'll do a little time lapse of all 10, and uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments.